I'm Mike, and today, erectile dysfunction. Particularly, we are going to look at the leading cause of erectile dysfunction, a cause that has gone largely overlooked and underappreciated within the public eye. And we're also gonna look at the science on the best way to reverse that cause. It's really hard to present what could be a real cure for people because of all these weird ads of instant cures and pumps and pills that make you go temporarily colorblind. But I assure you, there is something real here, and if you really wanna learn about this and possibly solve your issue, please stay tuned. Okay, let's get right into this. Real quick snapshot, 30 million men in the US have erectile dysfunction, one in four new cases of ED are men under 40, and by the age 40, you have about a 40% chance of getting erectile dysfunction, and that has a stepwise increase until you reach 70, in which you have a 70% chance of having erectile dysfunction. This is an epidemic. They say the penis is the window to a man's heart, but equally as accurate, the softness of a penis can be the window into a man's heart disease. Actually, it's more like a crystal ball into their heart disease future. I'm not gonna make any more jokes. From this study on cardiovascular disease, two thirds of the men experienced erectile dysfunction in the years leading up to their cardiovascular disease diagnosis. ED, erectile dysfunction, has been referred to as the canary in the coal mine for cardiovascular disease. It is the first indicator. Getting erectile dysfunction in your 40s, for example, is associated with a mind-boggling 5,000% increased chance of getting heart disease, including a fatal heart attack, in the next 10 years after your ED diagnosis. So why is it such an effective warning sign for cardiovascular disease? Because it is the beginnings of cardiovascular disease. Here's how it works. Just like how most heart disease cases are caused by a clogged or impaired heart artery, most erectile dysfunction cases are caused by a clogged or impaired penile artery. From this paper in the British Journal of Diabetes and Vascular Disease, astoundingly, vascular disease was probably the most common cause of erectile dysfunction, and of all the vascular disease, the commonest is atherosclerosis, or artery disease. See, the penile artery is half the diameter of a coronary heart artery, for example, so a thin layer of fatty deposits on the inside of your heart artery might only decrease flow by about 20%, while on your penile artery, that same thin layer could mean 50% less blood flow. But physical blockages are not the only issue. The way an erection takes place is through the dilation of your penile artery, which allows a surge of blood. But atherosclerosis, or hardening of the arteries, prevents it from dilating properly. And this is why Viagra works. It's a vasodilator. It forces your arteries to dilate, which logically can wreak havoc on somebody with impaired or damaged arteries. And is likely why over 500 heart disease deaths were linked to Viagra in its first year on the market alone. Studies by Pfizer didn't seem to find any issues. Don't mind that Pfizer manufactures Viagra. That's besides the point. By now you may be thinking, none of this really matters to me. I probably don't have clogged arteries. Well, if you live in the USA, quote, fatty streaks are found in the aortas of nearly all children by the age of three years old. Aorta is of course your largest artery. These fatty streaks regularly become fibrous plaques in one's 20s, which can certainly impede an erection. In no way is clogged arteries unusual in the modern Western world. Yeah, but aren't a large portion of ED cases psychological? Well, every psychological logical cases unique, whether it's ED from porn addiction or performance anxiety, even a minor penile artery impairment can trigger a vicious psychological cycle. Quote, even the most minor organic malfunction can result in psychological consequences, which can progress to so-called performance-related anxiety. Even less severe vascular impairment can delay the establishment of an erection. It's kind of like when you go to start your car and it's not starting right away and then you freak out. So don't write off a physiological cause just because you have a psychological aspect. Okay, so how do you actually fix this and not just for a couple hours at a time like those pills? Well, the best, most reliable, scientifically proven way to do it is through a oil-free vegan diet, which is shown to improve artery function and unclog arteries, reversing cardiovascular disease, and not just epidemiologically, but in interventionary dietary trials. One of the earlier studies to demonstrate this was by Caldwell Esselstyn in the 90s. 
He put 22 people with advanced cardiovascular disease on a whole food, vegan diet. None of the 17 patients that stuck with the diet had adverse effects like a heart attack or stroke, despite this same 17 people having 49 such events in the eight years prior to the study. And 70% saw a measurable reversal of their artery clogging. Here is one of the participants from the study. Anthony and the other male patients also noted another change. When you're young, when you're a teenager, you see uh, a female and so on, and uh, the first reaction physically raised the flag, I call it. This happened to us, uh, all the other uh, Dr. Esselstyn's, uh, I call them uh, all the guinea pigs. The flag still rises. Later on, Dr. Esselstyn did a similar study with 198 people, and among other amazing things, they demonstrated a dramatic clearing of arteries and increase in blood flow after just three weeks on an oil-free vegan diet. I have to emphasize this because there are probably vegans getting mad right now. No, not any vegan diet will do. One with processed foods will not get these results. Oil, as I explained in one of my recent videos, though not as bad as butter, can still clog your arteries. But isn't erectile dysfunction just the natural course of aging for men? Well, it really doesn't have to be that way. Here is Colin Campbell, a whole food plant-based doctor on Bill Maher. And I was kind of making a joke about blood flow to the penis, but uh, when people have a bad diet, that's when they need the Viagra, right, Doc? Absolutely, <laughs> it's, it's absolutely yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Age has yeah. nothing to do with it, I thought. You know what I no, think? No, it's, it's really true, if we didn't, if, if we were eating right, we would need to be selling Cialis and all this, that Viagra and stuff like that. But and you're, you're 77, too. you don't need it, right? No. <laughs> all right, Doc, high five. Finally, there is one more significant cause of erectile dysfunction that I have not talked about, and that is medication a lot of which is blood pressure lowering medication. And depending on the study, vegans have a 60 to 75% lower incidence of high blood pressure than their surrounding omnivore population. Zooming out, ironically, the number one thing between you and your manliness might be your desire to be manly. Grilling all that meat and pounding down all those barbecue chicken wings and so on. To get the point across, I will translate this into bro for you. You're cock blocking yourself, bro. You know, you just gotta go vegan and clear up your arteries and get back in the game, man. You gotta give those honeys your fine man piece. It's clutch, bro. Clutch. Seriously, though, we need to fix this. To show how madly people want to overcome erectile dysfunction, we just have to look at rhino horns and the illegal rhino poaching. Countless rhinos are killed every year so that people can grind up the rhino horn because they believe it cures erectile dysfunction, despite there being no scientific proof on the subject. Many rhino species are threatened or endangered, and this demand has pushed rhino horn to $30,000 a pound. Not cool. In conclusion, the most reliable, scientifically valid way to overcome the root cause of erectile dysfunction is an oil-free vegan diet. It's not as easy as a pill, but it's worth it. There are many resources to help you adopt this diet, and I will link them below, along with all the studies I mentioned. All right, if you know of anybody that has erectile dysfunction, share this video on their social media profile. Actually, just maybe message them privately or something. And also keep a lookout for my future video about how these cardiovascular issues affect women's sexual health. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bro, 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 bro. You're cock blocking yourself, bro. Clutch! Blood flow to the penis, penis. Your fine man piece, honeys. Raise the flag, flag. Cock blocking yourself. Raise the flag. Clutch! Get back in the game, man. Honeys, honeys, honeys. Honeys. High five!